Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and we've got a OU battle against the one and only Wild Chase. So, his team here, whenever it decides to show up. I'm thinking his main threats are going to be Celebi and Tyranitar, so I gotta be careful about them. But I figured he's going to want to lead with either Rotom or Landris. So he can get a Stealth Rocks up with Landris, or he can scout out with Rotom and use Volt Switch, but he starts out with Landris, and so do I, because I figured either way it'd be a good lead. So, this first turn here, we're just both gonna get our Stealth Rocks up after we intimidate each other. And... Stealth Rock happens... But now he's gonna use Hidden Power Ice. I figured he would either switch out or use U-Turn, so I use my own U-Turn. But, uh, I predicted wrong there and take a lot of damage. That's... I didn't do very well in this battle, I overpredict a lot, but... Anyway, I use your turn here and go out to my Latios, which is a Specs Latios. And I figured that a Specs Surf would be able to take him out, which... As we can see here, it will. So that is one dead Landris. I guess he didn't think I would be Specs, or maybe he thought that Landris would just be good death fodder, I don't know. But his Landris is down, and out comes his Tyranitar, which I play horribly against. It's the first competitive battle I've had in a while, so... I wasn't sure if people were still using Scarf Tyranitar or if it was Banded, so I try to switch. But he goes for the Pursuit instead of Crunch. So that was pretty bad on my part, I've gotta say. But uh, now I go for Infernape. And I thought he would want to switch here, so I go for the U-turn, but he stays in, probably out-predicting me. Yeah, he out-predicts me, and stays in and goes for the Pursuit, because Pursuit counts for U-turn. Which, I haven't had that happen before, so I didn't know. But I didn't think he'd want to stay in and take close combat, but... Now I go for U-turn, and go into Celements here. And it's a banded element, so I thought a Dragon Claw would be able to take him out. But he lives with, I believe, 16 HP from his end of the video, and I take another pursuit to the face. So I am at a huge disadvantage here because I am misplaying way too much. But I go for a second Dragon Claw to finally take him out and get a useless Moxie boost, because at this point, any priority move can take me out, especially with the Sandstorm there. Now he goes into his own Infernape, and he will take me out with a Mach Punch. So I am down quite a bit here, I am making misplays left and right, over predicting like crazy. So now I go into Gengar, because I remember he likes to use Choice Infernape. So now I'm gonna set up a substitute with my Gengar as he goes out to Rotom. And if I remember correctly, he goes for Volt Switch on my sub. After I hit him with the Shadow Ball, after all the Sandstorm happens... Probably should have sped this up a little more. But yeah, I go for the Shadow Ball here, figuring it'd do a lot of damage. And he just goes for the Vault Switch to break my sub. I would have liked to have gone for a different move, but I don't really have much else. It's a useless crit on the sub, and now he sends out his Celebi, which... Another misplay here... I didn't think it would be Scarfed for some reason, but I guess I didn't pay attention enough and didn't see any... I thought I saw Leftovers, but I didn't, and it was Scarfed, and it just kills me with a Psychic, and I'm feeling completely stupid right now. Especially since I had a perfect switch in with the Magnazone here, because I have a Balloon that I forgot I had, so even if he used Earth Power predicting my switch... I could have not taken any damage, so I am stupid, but anyway, set up a substitute as he goes into his own Magnazone, and I just go for a Hidden Power Fire, and he does the same thing, just break my substitute. Either I won both speed ties here, or I'm actually faster than him somehow, because I'm able to go for another Hidden Power Fire here, and just take him out. But yeah, I'm down a lot of Pokemon that I should not be down on right now because of my own stupidity. 
Yeah, down goes his Magnezone as he goes into his Infernape. I figured that he'd just go for a Mach Punch or maybe a Close Combat, so I'll just stay in here. Let Magnezone die. Not sure if that was the best idea in the world or not, but there's nothing else that could really take a Close Combat to the face. So I, now I go out to my Landris, hoping I can live a close combat now after an Intimidate, which this is kind of funny here, not that it really matters, but I live with one hit point, and I'm able to take him out with an Earthquake. Unfortunately though, it's not really going to make a difference as Infernape is down, because he's still got most of his team that can easily clean up the rest of mine because my team is just heavily crippled at this point, while well, he's still got his Scarfed Celebi, which, again, I played horribly against this entire battle, so that's my bad. So he's just going to take me out with a Psychic, then I'm going to hopelessly send out my Infernape. I don't have Mock Punch on it, not that it really matters, so he's just going to take me out with another Psychic, and that'll be a match. Or that's the match right there with a 2-0. So good game, while Hope to battle you again sometime. Hopefully I won't be so terrible next time over predicting and not paying attention. So this has been Tiger Tanaka, and I'll see you guys later.